You didn't take any time at all. Ow! Oh, that's my finger! Oh, God, Bella! You gotta be careful, sweetheart! Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Today is gonna be a feeding day. We are gonna feed all of my animals. Well, not all my animals, but we're definitely gonna feed a lot of animals. So for those of you that like feeding videos, you are gonna absolutely love today's vlog. I hope that we can have an amazing day together. As always, comment down below and let me know how your day is because I'm always curious how you guys are and I love you to death. While you're down there, can you smash that like button? Let's go ahead because we have a lot of chores to do and it's gonna start with tons of feeding. So let's go ahead and get Get this day started. Hey guys, it is my favorite day of the week. It is feeding day today. And the reason it is my favorite day of the week is because a lot of what I do here is cleaning. I am cleaning pretty much every day. Feeding day kind of breaks up the monotony for me a little bit. And also, I love seeing the snakes that I care for be excited about feeding day. Because if they're eating well, it means that they're healthy and they're thriving and they're growing. It just makes me feel good. It's like getting an A plus on a husbandry report card. So what do you say we get started? All right, the ball pythons are all taken care of. Now I gotta get to my other snakes, such as the boas, the womas, carpets, spotteds, and my favorites, sunrise and titan. All right, everyone ate pretty well today, which makes me a very happy snake keeper. And so I would call this a very successful feeding day. Okay, so the next thing to feed is Snoop Frog. I absolutely love Snoop Frog, and it eating pinkies is absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and see if it'll eat. Here you go, Snoop Frog. You ready? You want some? I absolutely love watching that frog eat. And there's one thing that you have to remember is, you know, I'm obviously feeding it pinkies right now, but we actually feed it a lot of bugs. It's very important not to feed just a rodent diet to these guys. They need a varied diet, so we definitely feed more crickets and other bugs compared to pinkies, but when I'm filming, obviously, that eating a pinky mouse is the absolute best. You know, I really love days that I get to feed a bunch of my animals, and of course, I couldn't have a feeding day without feeding my buddy Speedy. You ready to eat, buddy? Trust me, he's always ready to eat. He'll eat shoes, he'll eat anything that's on the ground. So let's go ahead and do a little speedy feeding. And then, of course, there is Karma. I love feeding Karma. Uh, and he looks like he is ready. He's like, he saw me coming with the bucket. As soon as he sees that bucket, he knows he's going to get fed. So what do you say? We go ahead and see if he'll eat. So I tried really hard to get Karma to eat. Normally he will eat out of my forceps, no problem, but he's just being a little finicky today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these dusted crickets in his cage and let him hunt on his own. So there you go, Karma. There you go, there's some crickets for you, sweetheart. Oh, there it is. Again, every now and then he gets just a little bit shy. So we'll see if he'll just eat them in his cage. Uh, if not, I'll just leave him alone. All right, guys, it doesn't look like there's going to be any cool slow motion chameleon feeding today. That's just the way it goes when it comes to animals. Sometimes they perform for you, sometimes they don't. Uh, he'll definitely eat these crickets when I leave him alone. I am feeding baby snakes today, not the adults. Those are pretty much all food. Now I'm focusing on the babies, and I've already fed the small pinkies off. Now I am feeding these fuzzies off, which 
Basically, for those of you who don't know, it's a step up. The pinky would be a newborn mouse, and then a fuzzy is a little bit bigger and it just starts to get fur. So these ones that I'm gonna feed here are a lot of like the rainbow boas, maybe some bigger Hondurans, um, bigger bodied animals that would start off on a bigger meal. So that's what I'm doing, and that's what you get to see today. Now I don't always hand feed everything. Sometimes some of the rainbows will take it right away and that way I know they take it. Uh, if they don't do that, then I'll leave it in the cage. Where are you at? And this guy just wants to bite, so we'll just leave that in there. And a lot of times they will miss and bite my finger. Rainbow woes are pretty funny. They uh, can be, I guess, fun to work with because they tend to be really bitey and snappy as babies. They grow out of that pretty quick um, once they, you know, lose that feeding response and realize that every time you stick your hand in there, you are A, not danger, and B, not trying to feed them. So if you're considering getting one as a pet, there you know. It doesn't always stay, doesn't last long, you just got to work with them. But uh, definitely adds to their personality as being little feisty things. So another one of the rainbows we have are the Brazilians. First I showed you the Colombians. This would be a Brazilian rainbow boa. You can tell they're a little bit bigger. Uh, Brazilians are a little bit um, brighter patterned. As an adult, these guys keep their pattern and tend to be a brighter, redder color, whereas the Colombian rainbow boas uh, are a more brownish color and their pattern fades. So those are two of the main differences between them, as well as size. The Brazilian rainbow boas will get uh, a lot larger, longer, and heavier bodied, where the Colombians stay a lot shorter. Brazilians get big enough to eat like medium rats. So as I'm going through feeding the rainbows, I came across these guys. And sometimes it's funny, I forget because we have so many snakes, a lot of stuff that we do have. Well, guess what? Remember these blue cystic rainbow boas? Well, they are very, they are doing very well. They're getting a little size to them. They're little feisty buggers, as you can see there. But look at how pretty. I mean, there's just something about... Something about an all-white snake with their dark little eyes. You know, no matter what kind it is, whether it's a rainbow boa or a, a Texas rat snake or even a ball python, everybody loves an all-white snake. It's just so different and so eye-catching. So there you go. You're welcome. I just wanted to share that with you today. And of course, I'm going to feed my girl Bella. How could I not? There you go, sweetheart. Oh, careful. Careful, sweetie. There you go, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, you didn't, you didn't take any time at Oh, that's my finger! Oh gosh, Bella! You gotta be careful, sweetheart! <laughs> she got my finger! She's got some pretty powerful jaws! Oh my gosh, Bella, you're such a silly monkey! <laughs> and I've got the dogs here today, so I can't let her out. But I definitely, you know, if I'm going to do a feeding video, I've got to feed Bella because she is absolutely awesome. But I tell you, she's got a pretty good chompers on her for sure. <laughs> that hurt a little bit. So Queen Elizabeth is still out in LA. I have to get her back because I miss her so much. I just was supposed to be over in LA and I figured I'd leave her there and then bring her back afterwards. And now my LA trip has been pushed into early December. Regardless, I still have Zombie, the rose hair tarantula. So uh, what do you guys say we try to feed it? Anyone that's creeped out by bugs might wanna skip the next 30 to 60 seconds, okay?
So guys, you know, it's been kind of one of those weird days, you know, Bella actually bit me. Look at how bad that is. I mean, that's pretty bad. And Eric, you got bit by a little leopard gecko. Yeah, you you? See, see the puffy red right there? Oh my Freaking gosh. hurts. I don't know. Sometimes things just happen and what's this all about? Oh, that's no big deal. <laughs> That's no big deal at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mary forgot her first really good bite and she took it like a champ. Obviously, this was a carpet python and it was a feeding response, which is absolutely the worst uh, because they, they actually, they're not trying to be mean. They think that your food, it basically missed the rat coiled your hand. <laughs> yeah, Kelsey had to help unwrap it. Oh my gosh. Let go. How did you do it? You all right? I was all right. Got a little teary eye, but it's okay. <laughs> oh no, I feel bad now. Oh, and Eric got teary eyed with the leopard gecko too. Got a so. good laugh though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's in trouble. So uh, welcome to the big bite party, Mary. That was awesome. I just had to share it with you guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. It was a long day of feeding all of our pet animals and our breeders. Of course, I was aided by my crew, which I could never do this without them, so they are absolutely amazing. I hope that you have an incredible day. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me, and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors, please? Can you smash that like button, as well as turn the post notifications on, so you know when I upload a video, which is every day at 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody, and I promise...